Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Puy Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did this all over sublimation mug. It is a Cricut mug, 15 ounce mug uh, with a gray handle and a gray inside. And I use Puy sublimation paper and Puy sublimation ink. And these you can find on our website at puydesigns.com. So come with me and see how I did this. I also did the bottom like that. So when you put the cup down, um, you won't see any white spots. Let's get into the video. So here I have my mug template printed out. I'm going to cut out the holes right quick. Make sure you don't cut them too big. Cut them exactly like um, the white spot is. So I'm cleaning my mug with a, a napkin, wiping it off really quick. And I'm going to apply my uh, template to it. Make sure you have your tape dispenser with you because it will help you. Yeah, and here I'm adjusting the template on the mug. Make sure you um, like you squeeze it when you put it. It will overlap a little bit. You see that it will overlap right under the handle. And then you tape it. Try to tape it really. Um, well, just like you're taping a sublimation tumbler. Okay. Let me adjust it really quick there. Okay. Adjust. I'm trying to find the right, the right spot there. Okay. Press it really tight. And then you start taping it. Okay, and then you tape. You tape it really well. Mm -hmm. Tape it uh, until you feel that it's really taped well. You will feel that it's sturdy on your hand. And this heat tape helps. Don't tape with another tape. Keep the heat tape on it. Since we're going to use um, the oven to, to bake it, like to sublimate it, just use heat tape and tape it really well. Heat tape doesn't um, give in when you use it. So now I have taped the seam of the mug already. You see, I'm checking it out there. I will tape the top of the mug now. I will tape it just like I tape a regular 20 ounce um, sublimation tumbler. That's the same way I'm going to do here. I'm going to stretch my tape really well so that it can curl. You know, it stretches really hard so that it can curl. And then um, I'm going to tuck it in. I put one piece already. I'm going to add one more piece. Like you pull it until it stretches like that around it, just like you would do with a tum tumbler. And then we tuck the, 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 the top in. We tuck it into the mug. And then and I press it on the table so that it can lay flat. Now I'm going to make some snippets into the part of the bottom of the cup. Cut all around it. I think the smaller you make them, the better. But it's up to you how you want to do it. Okay. And I'm also going to add one more piece of tape around um, the bottom of the mug. Just like I do with tumblers, I'll add a, a, a piece of tape right there around so that it can um, hold it like tighter, tighten it up. And now I will take small pieces of tape and I will start taping, start taping the, the snippets that I cut. You press it really well so that it can lay flat and then you tape around it. You overlap it a little bit, press it really hard so that it can lay flat, and tape around it. And that's what all I did. Taped around it until I'm at the last one. Tape it real good. And like I said, keep using um this tape, this heat tape. Keep using heat tape. Last time I did a mug, I used the blue tape, and the blue tape uh, um, um, gave in when I put it in the oven and it almost damaged my work but the heat tape will hold 
even if the temperature is 400 the heat tape will hold okay i'm see if i can add some extra tape over there yep okay now we can add the shrink wrap to it you see i have a 20 ounce <laughs> tumbler shrink wrap you can order um mug shrink wrap i think they have uh, sizes for mugs but this is for the tumbler so this is what i'm going to use i'm going to put my mug in it and then i'm going to tape it and tape it with uh heat tape keep on using heat tape press it tight press it and hold it tight and then you can add heat tape or around it just tape it with heat tape and then you tape it all around keep adding tape until you think it's oh yeah it's it's, it's uh tight enough to be put in the oven keep adding heat tape because this thumb this um, mug is a different mug <clears throat> if you if you do it um in a mug press you will only get the get the flat part um done you won't be able to get the the bottom done but when you do it in the oven you can do it just like i did here and um tape it all around and then do it in the oven so that the bottom can be done also yeah when i put it in the uh, oven it will shrink it will sh all shrink up but don't forget to do it just like uh, you feel it's done well. Like tape it really, really tight. Let's go to the oven and bake it. Okay, here is my um, oven. I will put the oven on 393 degrees. I will put the second part on turbo. And I will put the time on 10 minutes. With the 10 minutes, I will let it preheat for 3 minutes. And then I will bake it the, the, the rest of the seven minutes. And this oven is the uh, Oster confection oven. Now I'm going to insert my mug right there. After the 10 minutes, I insert it. You see uh, it's baking. And after the seven minutes, it baked and I took it out. And now we're going to unveil it to see, to reveal it, to see how it went okay look at that it came out so good i'm so <laughs> happy with it it came out so well look, you see with this method you can do the bottom the bottom you see the 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 round part down there yes you can you can do the bottom around the around it so with this template you can do all this so here is the mug it came out really nice it came out really nice and i'm so proud of what i did and the template works really well i love love it the top doesn't have any ghosting i got some small ghosting on the bottom but i know that next time i need to tape it harder look at the bottom some ghosting over there i need to tape it really harder next time mm -hmm. but it came out really well so if you want this uh, template, I will have the link below. Thank you so much for watching.